that and then one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a little awkward. That's no, not that awkward. It's fine. Alright, and then we're in the tunnel. Do we? We should fill that in. to stop breaking the stuff. Did I do the top part or the outside? Hey, what a cool tunnel. I like this tunnel. I did do the top part on the outside. This is a good tunnel, I like it. Alright, that's... And that's... And then... Up there... I suppose a lot of this can be glass. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. Uh. All right, glass. There and then glass in there. Not that slab. Um, I guess this part is lower, so probably, oh, probably, well, there goes the cactus, probably like that. I think that's right. Five, six, seven. Gonna extend out You know, this is kind of a bridge. We need to like have something holding this up, I think. <laughs> at at some point. 
We need something holding this up. Three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. I mean, maybe travel. No, travel still has value. I was thinking with the uh, advances in communications and the fact that, you know, we are playing video games across continents. I think that helps a little bit. But no, it's just not quite the same playing video games versus visiting a place in person. But I think it helps. Actually, no, does it? Because Twitter, Twitter is just like a cesspool of angry people yelling at each other. I'm not sure if Twitter helps. <laughs> yeah, let me think about this. Do you use Twitter, Wesley, or do you just stay away from that disaster? Social media is a hot mess, isn't it? Maybe social media would be less of a hot mess if everybody traveled. It's a, it's probably a good idea, Wesley. It's it's The thing about social media is that it pulls people much closer together and you find on social media people talking to complete strangers in other parts of the world as though they're talking to someone right next to them. But they can't punch you. <laughs> but there's no physical contact. And so people just yell at each other and no one can actually punch anyone. And so none of these yelling actually get resolved. Not that I condone punching. I'm just saying that if they were next to each other, they would be punching each other and the argument would stop very quickly, is what I'm saying. Yeah, like, you know, people just like... And because, like, Twitter is mostly text, they don't really have a concept of just how different the other person is. Because everybody has... is, is just text. You, there's a... there's a false... there's an illusion of... Hmm. What is it an illusion of? Let me make that 5, move that over. Maybe it's an illusion of society. It's, it's like social media is in a way a social illusion. formulating a theory of social media right now as we as we speak what is oh wait that's not how this works no that's oh that's the top of it oh it is how it works 
Okay, no, you're right, you're right, Resley, I'm wrong. That is how it works. So, like, people talk to talk at each other on things like Twitter, and there's the illusion that there is a conversation. <laughs> but really, people are not arriving at anything resembling understanding. I just realized that's actually completely wrong here. Maybe we don't worry about that. Maybe that's just how it is now. No, that's not how it is. Is it? Mm. That's super weird. It's kind of hanging underneath like this. Uh, this is kind of weird. Alright, let's close that off. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. <laughs> like, what is this? What is a social interaction? It kind of implies an exchange, doesn't it? Does social media qualify as social interaction? Sometimes, maybe. I mean, Wesley, like, if you're having a conversation with someone in real life and they say something you disagree with, do you feel a motivation to argue with them? <laughs> like, do you, do you have a, any... Or would you just walk away? Like a, st a complete stranger, a complete stranger just like says something wrong. Maybe social media is self-selecting, by which I mean, Wizzy says we're we very much dependent on situation and subject. Mm. Uh, have I talked about things like uh, team conflict or like group conflict? I think there's a part of human nature that enjoys group conflict, which, which sounds disastrous because it's like we are built for war or something. But people like team sports, we've talked about it, right? Like. <laughs> The, the, the Soccer World Cup <laughs> and how, how people who... You told me this, right, recently, like people who have no interest in... 
in the in your own flag. All of a sudden, is flying the flag. <laughs> like people who aren't particularly interested in Belgium <laughs> suddenly are very patriotic because there is a team competition going on. And so people will like find a team to to latch onto and then to to yell at other teams, really. I mean like soccer fans yelling at each other. Because they're the same people. Look, soccer fans, they all love soccer, so they're the same people. <laughs> people who who like soccer are different from people who don't like soccer. But then when you have like one group of soccer fans behind one team and a different group of soccer fans behind a different team, they yell at each other despite the fact that they are really the same kind of people. <laughs> and Twitter, political Twitter turns into this, I think, is that it's not really about policy, it's not really even about like money and power, it's about team sports people like latch on to a personality and then that that's their team leader and then they go yell at other team and other other teams and uh, there's a part of human nature that really loves doing this I think yelling at other people from other teams. And it's completely unproductive. Okay, look, these rabbits are here. Should I trap these rabbits inside this structure or do I let them out? This is a, a moral dilemma I have. I mean, if I let them out, okay, that rabbit jumped off. You know what? Get out of here, rabbit. Get out of here. Go. Be free. <laughs> I mean, I could have trapped them in here behind the glass, but that would seem like animal abuse. I don't want people flagging my video for animal abuse, so I'm not going to do it. But I thought about it. I think Twitter becomes like a, a team sport where people yell at each other because they enjoy yelling <laughs> they enjoy yelling at, at people who are from other teams and it's super unproductive because people just yell and, and they never actually converse they never actually solve any problems they just yell <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. I guess we can. No, we should move this one along. Okay, what if. Alright, Wesley. Consider the potential of like a, a drive-by yelling. <laughs> so, so like you have a s stranger, right? A stranger says something wrong. You have the option of yelling at him, <laughs> or or talking talking to him politely. But you have the option of like a drive-by yelling, where you just come in really fast, yell at him, and then run away really fast. And so then. You don't need to engage with them. You just you just go walk past, yell at them, and then walk away again. And there's no there's no need for you to engage. Would you do that? Would you like drive by, and yell at people? <laughs> because that's what social media is like. Because 
you see someone tweet something, you can just reply to them and then block them. <laughs> reply to them, block them, and then you never see them again. So you can do that. You can just like yell obscene things at people, and then you never, never have to deal with consequences. Anyway, it's 4:20, so I'm gonna end the video here for YouTube. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week.